Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a full tutorial of how to use Aftershoot, the brand new software that helps me cull photos right after I take them for shoots and weddings. So I'm gonna show you exactly how it works and all the details in this video. And real quick, you can use the code SAMIA10 for 10% off your subscription to Aftershoot. All right guys, so when you open up Aftershoot, this is what you're gonna see. Um, so go ahead and get it downloaded. And then the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna make an album inside Aftershoot. So I'm gonna click on new album and I'm going to, each album will have a folder. So you're gonna add folders to the album. So I'm going to go into my hard drive here. I'm going to pick a wedding that I've actually already done, but I'm going to select a card um, this is a folder of raw files, so import from this folder. And then you're going to let it import. And then see so it already imported the photos into the folder. If you want to, you can add another folder here. So you could do multiple photos at uh, multiple folders at once. But for the purposes of this demo, I'm just going to do the one folder. So these are all straight out of the camera. Wedding portraits have not been called before. Um, and you can see it loads them really quickly. So there's not like, it's not like you're actually moving the files. You're just importing a version of them into Aftershoot. So if you click on start culling, what it's going to do is give you all of these options here. So you just want to go through them and set your settings. So culling blurred photos, and it'll tell you if you're being lenient, it's going to choose three out of these four options. Moderate, you're going to choose half of these options and then strict, you're going to choose only one out of four. So I tend to overshoot a lot of the same thing. So I actually put mine on strict. So it's only going to choose one of the four. Okay. And then grouping duplicates. So again, you'll be, you can be lenient this and it'll determine, help you determine what's considered a set. So if these are, if you're being lenient, these are considered four sets to choose from moderate. These are three sets to choose from strict is these are you are only going to pick one from each set so i like to be a little bit um i'm actually going to stay on strict here not extreme for my other session i was doing I, I chose extreme but you can play with these settings um and then this is how many duplicates you want to include i always click less so you can play with that also and then if you want to create a sneak uh, sneak peek album or gallery for the client after shoot is so helpful with that so you can choose top 10% or 20%, let's just go with 10% of them to just pick 10% of the photos that are all different to create a sneak peek album. So um, let's hit start calling. So you can see there are 471 photos in this folder and it's gonna take them about two minutes and 20 seconds to call through them, which is amazing. So we'll just let it do its thing. Okay, so it's finished calling, it ended up taking five minutes total, two minutes to call, and then three to do everything else that it does. So after that, um, after she actually divides your photos into four different categories for you. So what I, and you can see these four different categories over here, closed eyed, blurred, sneak peek selected. So what I like to do is I start at the bottom and I click on closed eyes and I just go through, and so these are all the photos that they found closed, closed eyes. And if you click on this, it will show you, like click on one photo, it'll show you over here whether or not there was a duplicate image that they that was found that was kept. So it looks like all of the photos where she's giving a speech here, none of them were kept. So I'm gonna go ahead and if you click on this, um, the stars are related to your keyboard. So five stars and green is the five on the keyboard. So I'm gonna click on five and that made it green. And then you can see it went up from selected to 152 to 153. So I ended up keeping this photo. So you just wanna go through and like this, for example, it's not really that their eyes are closed, they're actually praying. So I wanna click on five, keep this one. These, these we don't need to keep. So that's how that works. So you can go through closed eyes. Um, for the blurred photos, these are things that are out of focus. Sometimes maybe it was just like a slow shutter speed. So this actually isn't isn't too blurry to me. It's just that the lap aperture was low. So I'm gonna keep this one. And then you can just go through and figure out what you're gonna keep. It's considering these blurry and, what, or just kind of messed up. So you can just go through these and pick out which blurry ones you want to keep. So, and then sneak peeks are, they're gonna they're gonna be exported. Both selected and sneak, sneak peeks will be exported. They're just separate selected photos. So they're just a collection of separate photos and it's just picking different things from around the day. 
Um, you can also turn this off if you don't want to deliver a sneak peek gallery at the beginning where we hit or before we click start calling. So then selected, you can go through these and it looks like it selected all these photos. This one's actually overexposed. So I'm just going to hit zero and get rid of that one. Um, and then I can go through here. This is just a light test. It's a zero, but all of these should be not too duplicate, which is really great and really good variety. These two look a little bit the same. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one and they're not holding hands here. So you can see what I mean. And, and it will change based on the settings that you set in the beginning. So it also, when you click on a photo, it will show you what looks like a duplicate over here. So I clicked on this and it, it took this one out and, and gave it a number two because it was a duplicate and gave this one a number five. So if I were to get rid of this, make it a zero, now there's no photo like this included. So it really helps to know what it got, what after she was getting rid of and what it's keeping. And then I'm gonna click save changes. So now I know that I have 151 plus the 19 that are sneak peeks that are gonna be selected. So save changes. And then I'm gonna export 175 because again, it's adding these two together. And then from here, you can um, export to Lightroom, export to Capture One, export to a folder, um, or show the cold photos manually. So what I like to do is actually go into Lightroom and create the catalog first and open it up. And then if you click on After Shoot, if you click ex ex Export to Lightroom Classic, it will go ahead and open up what you just opened with the catalog. So you can see here, um, I don't even need to copy paste them into a selected folder or anything like that. It's pulling those photos that were selected from the raw file folder. And then I just click on import and it will import everything directly from Aftershoot. And the, it's really, really quick because I'm adding them at their current location so that they're not actually creating duplicate files. And then once you're once they're imported in here, you can start editing. All your photos were culled super quickly and you're ready to go. All right, guys, don't forget you can use the code SAMIA10 for 10% off your subscription to Aftershoot and leave a comment down below. Let me know if this was helpful and if you're gonna start using Aftershoot or if you use something else for calling. And I will see you guys later here on YouTube.